Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. I decided to watch <clears throat> Jefferson in Paris, and to be honest, being a Francophile, I absolutely adored it. And I thought that it was a fantastic film, and I actually learned quite a bit about Mr. Jefferson. And, um, he was a very intriguing man, but he was a bit of a womanizer, <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> I think he had high libido, but <laughs> if, you, if you know your history, then you, you know that's true, and the movie portrays that quite well, and it's interesting how the whole love triangle pans out, and he had a lot of tragedy in his life, too. And it's uh, really sad to see him go through just that, that sadness and melancholy. Because I think he had a great intellect. And um, you could see that he really adored France for their liberality and just their... Um, <clears throat> their spirit of revolution and there's actually a book it is called the greatest journey and it's by david mccullough and i i have it but i haven't read it and it's uh it takes place in the same era and basically it was our revolution the, the french really helped us in that regard <clears throat> because they really supported us and we became good friends so <laughs> all for the better I think because uh, we were influenced a lot by um, their culture and got a lot of uh, immigrants that, that came over here and one thing I wish we could have gotten from the French a lot earlier is emancipation I just think that would have been so much nicer for our country and it was such a blight on America as a whole but Thomas Jefferson actually agreed. He, he had a clause put in the Constitution for emancipation <clears throat> of slaves and actually goes into that in the film. And This movie is really fascinating and I really enjoyed it. And if you like history and these, these actors and actresses and their high build, um, I would consider it a four-star film and two thumbs way up. It's just really a a fantastic love story and also very educational and intriguing and just the whole countryside of France and, and just hearing French spoken and it's just so beautiful and I, I wish my French were better <laughs> it just makes me want to learn French that much more and according to my friend Bright Star Angie um, <clears throat> one of my favorite voice actors, David Gassman, he, um, he cameos. I, I never spotted him. I was, I was actually trying to see if I could scrutinize him out of any one scene in, in the film as, uh, one of the, <clears throat> the royal attendees are just, uh, part of the, uh, the king's court. And I, I just, I could not spot him for the life of me. I know what he looks like, but I just, I couldn't see him. And it drove me mad, but, oh well. But I'm glad he was in it. And he didn't really have any speaking part. He was he was just there to be there. At, at least as part of his film credentials. And I guess that could be um, important in a resume. And <laughs> he's um, made quite a career for himself uh, doing French voiceovers and I think being in a film like this one in, in costume, uh, accurate costume by the way, would have been just absolutely fantastic and that that time of history, that, I just love it, That's the whole um, Victorian era, uh, France was, um, they were different from America in their understanding and their perception of uh, what they call a joie de vie and um <laughs> it's actually joie de vie is a very french concept and uh i don't see anything wrong with it but <laughs> uh, I, I would get looks over here but <laughs> life is to be 
to be lived and and to be savored and that was what movie was truly about and you could see a lot of humanity within Tom's um, treatment of Sally and uh, Sally was uh, very intriguing because she was um, mulatto and um, I know that's probably not a politically correct term in this day and age but I'm calling it for what it is and she was um, not 100% black but she was she also had some um, Caucasian in her background so she was mulatto and um, <laughs> she, they called her Dusty Sally and it was very controversial for the time and he had um, like I mentioned before high libido and <laughs> lots of uh, slaves that he kept and uh, concubines and um, Ms. Conway the the woman he met in France who was actually more Italian than she was English and her husband um, was a little bit light in the loafers they they actually you could just spot it right away when you when you see everything yeah he swings for the other team but um, it's very interesting in that time I think uh, it just wasn't that much of a concern because in in France it was more accepted and, and just uh, people were um, they were more willing to be open and um, and inclusive to people that were like that and and I don't see anything wrong with that I, th I think that's perfectly fine and they're human beings just like anybody else and that's the same thing with the slaves uh, you see them as, as human beings later on and James L. Jones and his part and telling about his his um, recollections of his father even though it's true that he did treat his his white sons better than his black sons because he he kind of favored them over I think it's a, it's, a, it's a whole race thing and it was uh, just really fascinating I think it's just a really intriguing look at, at society and seeing how things change and, and wonder how far we've come and um, it just it gives you a lot to think about and it's just a really outstanding movie just terrifically sensational and I highly recommend it if you have a chance to watch it and you enjoy history like I do then you have to see this film because it is well worth your time trust me <laughs>